Hi everyone, it's Tuesday and we're going to continue to revise and use some different subtraction strategies. We are learning to select and use a variety of strategies to solve subtraction problems involving one and two digit numbers. We can solve subtraction problems accurately, check solutions using a different strategy, show strategies and working out, explain or demonstrate how an answer was obtained um, and we also have our addition and subtraction word wall and we'll continue to use these words throughout our learning. Subtracting a double digit number from another double digit number can be a little tricky. To simplify it we can break it up um, and we are taking away into tens and ones. It is often easiest to take away the tens first and then the ones. So we can see here that this is 36 minus 12 and we've been able to break up the 36 into tens over here and ones. And then it's easier for us to take numbers away from it. And it's especially easy with the hands-on tools, which I encourage you to do if you struggle with this. Okay, so now 36 minus 12 equals 24. So we can see that by using the hands-on tools, it helps. And um, it's always easier to break it into tens and ones. Okay, the jump strategy. A number line can help us subtract double digit numbers using the jump strategy. In this case, jump in tens first and then jump in ones to find the answer. Think about this word problem. One day, Jason counted 34 ripe tomatoes in his garden. He picked 13 of them to make pasta sauce. How many were left? So remember, we have to circle our numbers first. So our larger number is 34. Our smaller number is 13. We have to underline our question, how many were left, and box any keywords. Okay. So now, how are we going to solve this word problem using the, the jump strategy? Let's take a look. Okay, so first we go to 10. So we go back by 10. 34 minus 10, and then we take three small steps to get to our designated number. So we've taken away 13, now, so 34 minus 13 equals 21. Okay, the split strategy. In its simplest form, the split strategy is the same as the jump strategy. You still split a number into parts and then subtract each part, but no number line is used. There were 31 cars in the car park in the morning. By lunchtime, there were only 16. How many cars were there left? So let's circle our numbers, underline our question, and box our keywords. Okay, let's see if we can use the split strategy to solve this. Okay, so we're splitting our numbers in tens and uh, tens and ones. And you can also do this using hands-on tools, which I try to provide with each lesson. There's always some practical ones at the um, end that you can get online, or you can just use your toys at home and split them into tens and ones. Okay, if we split 16 into one ten and six ones, it will be easier to subtract. Remember to take away the tens first. Okay, so 31 minus 10 equals 21, so we can count back by tens. And um, 21 minus 6 is a little bit easier, so we can take away 15. Take, sorry, we get the answer 15.
Okay, so let's use some hands-on tools to solve this problem. So we've got 33 minus 21. So we've got our three tens and our three ones to make 33. And then we need to take 21 away from this. So with our hands-on tools, it makes it much easier that we can make 21 or we can do it in the steps of the split strategy. So we've got 30 minus 20. So we've, we're just taking away the tens first. Okay, so then we have 10 left. And then three minus one equals two. Okay, and then we add them, them together. So there's two parts, we're subtracting the tens, we're subtracting the ones, and then we add them together to get our answer. So 10 plus two equal, okay. All right, look at how these questions are solved using the split strategy. So 38 minus 12. So the first step, we've taken away the tens. 30 minus 10 equals 20. 8 minus 2 equals 6. And then we add them together. 20 plus 6 equals 26. Okay, you're going to use these questions as a reference. So you can have a look at your slides because this um, slide will be in there in your Google Classroom so that you can answer each of these using the um, split strategy. So first, complete the split strategy activity from the slide before. Choose the option that is right for you. Green is a little easier and red is a little harder. You can use these tools to help you partition the numbers. So this is the hands-on game that I was telling you about. If we were at school, we would be using blocks to do this and you can do that at home as well. You can do um, use counters, you can use toys, it's up to you, um, but it's totally fine to use your toys to, do, to work it out for tens and ones. It will make it a lot easier for you. If you can do it just by showing your working out, then that's great as well. You don't have to use hands-on materials if you don't need to. Okay, um, and then number two, complete the subtraction to PDF um, Tuesday jump strategy. So there's a, there's a second sheet to practice the jump strategy today. And then check your answers from subtraction two by choosing a different subtraction strategy to solve the number sentence. You can choose one of the subtraction strategies that have been discussed today, or you can choose a different one. So we can use the ones from yesterday, um, or you might have another one that we haven't talked about this week yet. Um, you need to explain and show your strategy. You can do this on a piece of paper or print out the PDFs if you choose. Um, there's also some games for you to play. So um, there's an option to play the following game, Fact Family game using addition and subtraction. Choose the level that is right for you. Um, and then there's, um, so that's subtraction fruit spot game. So that should be a bit of fun for you as well. Um, Okay, I hope you go really well with that activity. Uh, it's, it's really important that you guys just try different strategies and check your answers. It's a great thing that you can do use one strategy to um, complete your maths work, but you need to check your answers. Every time you do maths, you need to check that your answer is correct. And a way we can do that is by using a different strategy to check that we've maybe we've made a mistake, let's fix it with a different strategy. Okay, good luck with it. Bye.